Hi, today's video we're going to talk about five AI websites that I've already spoken about on my Instagram, but I wanted to consolidate and make a list of all the AI websites that have actually have been useful to me in the past, okay? First one being ChatGPT, my lord and savior. I literally used ChatGPT to study for all of my semester exams because I slept in most of my classes or never really paid attention in class or, you know, didn't take notes, but ChatGPT had my back, bro. I just got my work done very efficiently. So, so I know most students have used ChatGPT before and I'm sure that it's going to get only much better than this. So when ChatGPT is there, not to fret, you can get a lot of your work done on it, not just studies. I know a lot of people use it for like different reasons, even like creating content or coming up with a framework for this essay that you're writing, anything, you know, ChatGPT got you, bro. So yeah, the next thing is about these guys. Oops. <laughs> So when I was getting my posters done for like this background, I had to like source a lot of the images from Google and most of the times they were all like pixelated and completely unusable and you know how it goes, right? So yeah, the website that I used to upscale all of these images and get like the highest resolution possible with like the image that I gave it was Replicate Code Former. The reason why I included it in this video is because you can actually use it for a lot of things. If you do have like family photos that you've lost the image but you have like this very pixelated image you'd be able to upscale it this was actually very very useful for me because it was a very clutch moment because i was in the shop all right i'm there with my files and i'm giving it to them and i'm just like hey can you print out like two of these for me and like check if it's like good quality and it was really bad so I got it all upscaled and some of these were upscaled using the replicate code formo like this death note poster over here this last of us poster over here this surarai poster poster over here even this ar rahman poster that i have over here this inception poster as well so a lot of these posters were upscaled using the replicate code formo some of them were small enough to like not get pixelated like these polaroids but yeah that's pretty much it yeah back to the point of this video which is i found them very useful because it was a very clutch moment for me and i got them in the highest possible quality so what do you know next ai tool that i'm going to talk about is a tool within a tool uh, i'm talking about canva okay so canva has this magic write tool and a magic edit tool so magic write is this tool that you can just write a prompt and like tell the ai to write something for you so you can say hey write something about parkour or write something about um, Apple, who knows? And it will give you like a small passage that you can use to like enhance your overall design. Anyone who designs posters on Canva can end up using it. So the next tool within Canva is the magic edit. Although I really, really didn't like it, okay? <laughs> I really did <laughs> because I gave it a lot of prompts and it didn't like let me generate the image that I wanted to. It just made me look very, very weird. I said, give me red lips and it just gave me like those weird like it was just bad okay but if someone doesn't know photoshop i just thought that this might be a very easier tool next up i'm going to talk about stable diffusion it is something that i thought was a very interesting tool i did like how the images were created though it gives me a great place to like start if i'm thinking about an idea creatively in a rut didn't know what to draw i don't draw by the way i'm just saying so uh, i did use this michael jackson and rajini Kant generation which actually was really impressive to me if you are an artist you utilize this tool as much as possible because it can elevate your art form to another level and just exploit what's available you know the next one is scribble diffusion which is a little bit similar to stable diffusion except stable diffusion takes written prompts but scribble diffusion takes drawings so you can scribble on the panel that it gives you like you can draw a house you can draw a cat you can draw a bat you can draw pretty much anything and it would allow you to like generate hyper realistic images which you generally wouldn't find on the internet as easily you know you get what i mean i know you get what i mean so yeah that's something that i thought was an interesting ai tool as well and both of them both the diffusion tools are actually pretty good if you are an artist use it 
These are all the tools that I thought were like the most interesting AI tools that I've come across. Let's like work with AI, you know, let's make it make our life easier. The more and more all these tasks get like automated and you have like uh, these AI applications making your life easier, the more you can focus on growing yourself in other aspects, you know. And these are all the websites that I thought were useful to me and I have hope that you find them useful as well. And that's it for today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!